Hi everyone, Lua here with another Kamala Tech tutorial. In this video, we're covering how to manage your Kamala document management workflows at the space level. We'll look at both Confluence Cloud and Data Center and Server. Workflows can be applied to individual pages or managed at the space or global level if you're an admin. There are two ways you can add workflows across an entire space. On the page, you have the option to add a space workflow, or you can manage your workflow from the space settings. Here under space settings, content tools, and document management, you can see the basic approval workflow has been added by default. Let's change that workflow, and whichever workflow I select, I can apply it to the entire space with this toggle here. With my space workflow enabled, any new pages I create will now have the workflow automatically applied. Note that in Confluence Cloud, only one workflow can be applied across a space at a time. If we go to one of my pages, you'll see this document which had no workflow before now has the quality management system workflow applied. Returning to this page which you saw earlier, we can see it still has its old workflow. But if I go and give the page a quick edit, you'll see the new space workflow is applied. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're rolling out a space workflow in a space with some page workflows. Now in the data center and server version of Confluence, it's pretty similar. In space tools and document management, we can click add workflow and select our workflow from the list. Next, we're given an option to either add the workflow as a global template or space workflow. If you choose global template, that means any changes you make to the workflow in this space will be applied across the entire instance. If you choose to copy it as a space workflow, that means the changes you make to the workflow in this space will only be applied to this single space. So I'll choose space workflow, and now I can just flip the switch to apply it to all my pages. And once again, if we visit one of our pages, we can see that the workflow has been applied. In data center and server, there's also an advanced option if you want to make an exception and have a different workflow on a few pages. So I'll add my second workflow and choose the simple approval workflow this time. And once again, apply it as a space workflow. And now I can edit the workflow and go into the markup. Here, I can add a label and I will just call the label simple in this case. Save that. Then I'll go to my uh, main workflow, my content review workflow, and also go to the markup, and I will add just a little bit of code here. And this will indicate that the workflow shouldn't appear on the pages with the simple label. So we'll save that. And make sure that we apply the second workflow. So now let's go back to my space where we have the uh, content review workflow applied to every page. And let's just add the simple label to one of these pages. And then we can refresh our page. And once we do, we will now have the option to basically submit the page into the new workflow. So that allows us to have two workflows in one space. Organizing your workflows on the space level is a great way to better control your space and save a bit of time as well. If you want to learn more, visit our wiki or reach out to our support. Thanks for watching and have a great day.